Hey, welcome to part two of this tutorial. And if you have made it this far, then congratulations, cause you're on your way to having a top that looks like this. After you've made your second bra cup, go ahead and flip them both upside down with the tails facing the right. Grab your main color. It should be the last one that you left off with. Create a slip knot, and from here we are going to chain 12. Next, grab one of your bra cups, and you're going to insert your hook into the last stitch that you made on that bra cup. Pull your yarn through and leave a single crochet. Leave two single crochet into the V-stitch row while also crocheting over the tail. Continue single crocheting all along the bottom of the bra cup until you reach the end. Don't forget to leave two single crochet onto the V-stitch row. After that, you're going to leave one single crochet on the side of your bra cup, right here on the very end. This is what your work should be looking like at this point. Next, go ahead and grab your other bra cup. And just like before, we're going to insert a hook into the last stitch that we made. This time we are just going to leave a slip stitch. Next, continue single crocheting all along the bottom of this bra cup until you reach the end. Don't forget to leave one single crochet on the very end of the bra cup. And here's what your work should be looking like at this point. Next, we are going to chain 13. Turn your work over and single crochet into the second chain from the hook and continue single crocheting all the way down the bottom of your bralette until you reach the end. Stop before the last stitch because there I will show you how we're going to change our colors. For the next row, grab your new color, and we are going to start a single crochet, but we're not going to finish it. Just pull your yarn through and lay your yarn down. I'm going to cut off about an inch and a half for the tail. Bring in your new color, leave it about the same length of, as the other tail, and then finish that single crochet with your new color. Next, chain three, turn your work.
Go ahead and tug on both of those tails to give them some tension since they're both already cut. Remove your hook and begin weaving the tails through each of the stitches until you no longer have any tails left over. I have just a little bit of my end sticking out. I'm gonna cut that off later, but go ahead and replace your hook into your yarn again. And we're going to skip one space and double crochet into the space after that. This is going to give you your double crochet chain space. It should look something like a little square. Next, chain one, skip a space, and then double crochet into the space after that. Again, chain one, skip a space, and then double crochet into the space after that. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way down for the rest of this row until you reach the end. I've just reached the end of my row and as you can see I have three single crochet left here. What I'm going to do instead is add an extra chain so I have a chain two and then I'm double crocheting into the very last stitch. Here's what your work should look like so far and I'm going to go ahead and cut off this extra yarn that's hanging off right here. I need to get some new scissors, obviously. Grab your next color and go ahead and lay your yarn down. Chain one with your new color. Turn your work over and single crochet into the very first stitch. That should be the last double crochet that you left on the previous row. Make sure you are crocheting over both of those tails. Next, single crochet into the chain space after that, and then single crochet on top of the double crochet after that, and repeat this pattern all the way down until you reach the end, leaving a single crochet into every chain space and on top of every double crochet. Stop before your last stitch because there I will be changing my colors again. To finish off this row, begin a single crochet, lay your yarn down. I'm going to go ahead and cut mine here about an inch and a half long for the tail. Bring in your new color and lay it down with that tail. And with your new color, you're going to finish that single crochet. Next, chain one, turn your work over. 
single crochet into that very first stitch while also crocheting over both of the tails and continue single crocheting all the way down this row until you reach the end. Just stop before you reach your last stitch because we're going to change our colors again. To finish off this row, begin a single crochet but don't finish it yet. Grab your new color, I'm going to use this purple, and again lay your yarn down, bring in your new color, and finish that single crochet with your new color. Chain one, turn your work, and single crochet into the very first stitch. Leave about two more single crochets before we cut off our old color. After you've cut off your old color, remove your hook and go ahead and weave those tails in through the next stitch. Replace your hook and we are going to chain one, skip that space, and then crochet into the space after that. Here I am crocheting over both of those tails instead of weaving them in. I'm removing my hook again and weaving those tails through the next stitch. Replace your hook, chain one, skip that space, crochet into the space after that. Continue doing this until you don't have any excess tails left over. After you have almost, you know, completely crocheted over those tails, continue the pattern of chaining one, skipping one, and single crocheting into the next stitch all the way down until you reach the end, but stop before you have three single crochet spaces left. I've reached the end of my row and I only have three stitches left, so I'm single crocheting into two of those stitches without skipping any. Here's what your work should be looking like at this point. Grab your next color and we're going to begin a single crochet to finish off this row, but we're not going to finish it. Lay your yarn down, bring in your new color. I'm going to go ahead and cut off my old color here, finish that single crochet with your new color, and chain one. Turn your work over, and half double crochet into the very first stitch while also crocheting over both of those tails. Continue half double crocheting into every stitch along this row, including the chain spaces. To finish this row, begin a single crochet in the last stitch. Lay down your yarn and go ahead and cut it off about an inch and a half for the tail. Bring in your new color and finish that single crochet with your new color. Chain one, turn your work, 
and single crochet into the very first stitch while crocheting over both of the tails. Tug on both of the tails to give it some tension and remove your hook. Weave those tails through the next two stitches. Replace your hook and here we are going to chain five. Skip those two spaces and then single crochet into the third space after that while also crocheting over both of those tails. Remove your hook again and weave those tails into the next two stitches again. Here I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess yarn and use my fabric glue to secure those into place here. Replace your hook again and chain five. Skip the next two spaces and single crochet into the third space. Repeat this pattern all the way down until you reach the end. Chain five, skip two, single crochet. I'm leaving my last chain five and single crocheting into the very last stitch here on the end. Here's what your work should be looking like at this point. Next, I went back and undid that single crochet because I wasn't supposed to finish it. So lay down your old color and bring in your new color and finish your single crochet with your new color. Next, chain two and then turn over your work. Double crochet into the very first stitch, which should have been the single crochet that you left on the previous row. Make sure you're crocheting over both of those tails. Tug on those tails to give them some tension and remove your hook. Next, we're going to weave these tails in through these chain spaces. So there's five chains in each of these little like humps. So I'm gonna try to weave these all through all five of those chains. You can cut your yarn off, of course. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do here is wrapping my yarn around and inserting my hook into each chain to pull it through. Finally, I am inserting my hook into that single crochet and pulling the yarn through. And I'm just gonna secure it down with some fabric glue before I cut it off. Replace your hook. Next, we're going to chain two and single crochet into that chain five space. Chain two again, single crochet into the chain five space. Again, chain two, single crochet into the chain five space. Repeat this pattern all the way down until you reach the end. I'll slow down towards the end so that I can show you how I finished off this row. I've just single crocheted into my last chain five space, so I'm going to chain two and leave a double crochet into the very last stitch, which should be a single crochet. And that's how I finish off this row. We're gonna do another row in this color of just single crochets, but this is what your work should be looking like at this point.
Next, chain one, turn your work over, single crochet into the very first stitch. Next, leave two single crochet into the chain space, and then single crochet on top of that single crochet on the previous row, and repeat this all the way down. Stop before your last stitch so that I can show you how we're going to change our colors again for the next row. For the next row, get your new color ready and begin making a single crochet, but don't finish it yet. Lay down your old color. I'm gonna go ahead and cut mine off about an inch and a half. Bring in your new color and finish that single crochet with your new color. Chain one and turn your work over. I accidentally forgot to chain one. Single crochet into the very first stitch while also crocheting over both of those tails. Go ahead and remove your hook and weave those tails into the next two stitches. Replace your hook and skip the next two spaces. We're going to leave a puff stitch in the third space while also crocheting over both of those tails. To make a puff stitch, you yarn over, insert your hook, pull your yarn through, yarn over, insert your hook again, pull your yarn through, and again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull your yarn through, and then pull your yarn through all seven of those loops. Chain two, remove your hook, and weave those tails into the next two stitches. Replace your hook, skip the next two stitches, and leave a puff stitch into the third stitch after that. I have some excess yarn poking out from my tail, so I'm just going to use my fabric glue to secure those down into this puff stitch here. Next, chain two. I had to wipe my hands off after using that glue. Skip the next two spaces and leave a puff stitch on the third space. Chain two, skip two, puff stitch. Repeat this all the way down until you reach the end. I just finished my last puff stitch and I have about three more stitches left on this row. So what I'm gonna do is chain two and leave a half double crochet on the very last stitch of this row. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my yarn off and bring in my new color. I'm laying both of my tails down and chaining one with my new color. Turn your work over and single crochet into the very first stitch, which should have been the half double crochet from the previous row. Make sure that you are crocheting over both those tails. Next, leave two single crochet into that chain two space. Single crochet on top of the puff stitch and repeat. 
Two single crochet into the chain two space. One single crochet on top of every puff stitch all the way down until you reach the end. Stop before your last stitch because there we will be changing our colors. To finish this row, begin a single crochet into the very last stitch, but don't finish it. I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn here and bring in my new color. Lay both of the tails down and finish that single crochet with your new color. Next, chain one, turn your work. Half double crochet into the very first stitch while also crocheting over both of the tails and then half double crochet into each stitch all along this row until you reach the end. Stop before your last stitch so that we can change our colors. To finish this row, begin a half double crochet in that last stitch, but don't finish it yet. Lay down your yarn and you can go ahead and cut it here. Bring in your new color, lay it down and finish that half double crochet with your new color. This row is going to be V stitches so we're going to chain four, turn your work over and double crochet into the very first stitch while also crocheting over both of those tails. Next remove your hook Weave your tails into the next two stitches. Replace your hook, skip the next two spaces, and leave a V stitch into the space after that. A V stitch is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into the same stitch. Make sure you are also crocheting over both of those tails for this stitch. Remove your hook again and weave the tails into the next two stitches. Replace your hook, skip two spaces, V-stitch into the third space. Before I finish this V-stitch, I'm going to cut off my excess yarn on my tails and secure it down with some of this fabric glue. So now I'm going to chain one and finish this V-stitch. Continue your pattern of skipping two and V-stitch into every third space all the way down until you reach the end. I just left my last V-stitch here at the end of my row. And here I'm just going to chain one and cut off my yarn. This really completes the rest of the body portion. All we have left is to do the border now. So go ahead and get your main color again. We're gonna insert our hook here on the side where we began. Grab your yarn and pull a loop through, don't pull it through completely. Chain one, 
and then single crochet into that same space while also crocheting over both of the tails. Continue single crocheting all the way down the side until you reach the end. I'm almost towards the end and I'm leaving two single crochet onto this v-stitch. Next, chain two and leave a single crochet on top of the double crochet from the last row, single crochet into the chain space, and then single crochet on top of the next double crochet after that. Next, chain three and here we're going to leave a pico stitch so insert your hook into these front two loops pull your yarn through, and then slip stitch back through. Again, leave a single crochet into the next three spaces, and on the third single crochet, leave a pico. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way down until you reach the end. I just finished the border all along the bottom. Next I'm leaving two single crochet into this last v-stitch just to finish off this row. Now I'm chaining two. Turn your work and we're going to begin working along the side. Leave two single crochet into this v-stitch again. And then single crochet into every stitch and row all the way along the side until you reach the end. Alright, after you have crocheted all the way down to the end, just chain one and cut off your yarn here. Surprisingly, after this entire project is completed, there's only one tail that we have to weave in. This is what your top should be looking like at this point. Of course, you're probably using different colors than I am, but if you follow the same stitch pattern as me and the same size, then they should look very similar. So I'm going to go ahead and weave this tail in very quickly here on camera. Next, I made a chain of 200 and tied both of the ends and I used it in my main color here. And all I'm going to do is just lace it up on the back. And now she's officially done. Check her out. As you can see, this one is identical to the first one I made on my 14 hour road trip. I just used different colors of course, but all of the stitches are the exact same. So 
yay! I really hope that you guys like this tutorial and I hope that it was super easy to follow along with. And again, I would love to see what y'all made and the color palettes that y'all chose. So go ahead and tag me in any photos that you post on social media or you can send them to my Instagram DMs. I check all of my messages. But here are all of my handles. So don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and support. Thank you guys so much and I'll see y'all again next time.